How's it hanging guys? It's your boy Millsysaurus and welcome to a very special episode for you guys tonight. Now this is a pre-recording and I'm not broadcasting live and there is a reason to that. Simply because I don't know whether or not I'm going to be uploading this video onto my YouTube channel and if I do, hi! <laughs> I wanted to bring this video to you guys and to make it perfectly clear, this is a guide. Now... Um, for the last few days, I experienced something on Call of Duty, and uh, please forgive me for rambling on before I get into gameplay. And uh, what I experienced was during an online game, a couple of kids were behind this fence in the carrier map, and uh, this is called a glitch. Now, to those who are not aware what a glitch is, a glitch is something that occurs during gameplay, doesn't matter what game it is or how it's done. Uh, a major glitch is where something happens during gameplay that's not supposed to be there. Now, it wasn't designed uh, to be used for gameplay. You know, it's it's some glitch in the system that is, that's just there. That's not really easy to get rid of. And obviously, the company hasn't noticed this glitch yet or, or deem it as um, that kind of glitch, which is very important to get rid of right now i can't really explain why it's there you know I, i'm not I'm, I'm i'm not like i don't have the the capability of knowing why it's there or how it got there or how you can get rid of it i just know it's there and a glitch in my opinion is a cheat it's a way to make your game a lot more easier or in some cases more fun now, what I'm about to show you is how to do this glitch and how it helps you with your gameplay. Now, I want you guys to understand is I insulted these children when I saw this for the first time. I called them pussies. I was really angry. I was getting eaten alive by these zombies and I, I literally raged, as you probably saw in my previous videos. I apologized for that. I apologized already for that to these kids, to my rage, my foul language. And I was obsessed with finding this glitch. I played hours on end, talking to other players, trying to convince them, look, show me this glitch, please, please, please. And then one day I met someone, you know, and, and he was kind enough to show me, and I was ever so grateful to him. I, my, I'm in his debt forever, you know. And I've been using this glitch countless times. And I must warn you, it is a different experience. Having this glitch makes you feel indestructible and it does take the competitive gameplay away you know the whole competition side to it you know that's the fun bit about this game now this glitch takes that all away so please prepare yourself for that once you know the glitch it is very hard to come away from that of course i haven't experienced this glitch yet with a, a team of players that i know and i can't wait to do that and i use this glitch all the time guys I'm so sorry for still rambling on, but I just needed you to hear that from me, that I don't recommend using this glitch unless you want a change of scene with your gameplay. If you want to rack up those credits, if you want to get everything and just make your gameplay a lot easier and be known as a cheat and, and a wimp, then do the glitch. By all means, do the glitch. If you want to stay strong, if you want to stay competitive, if you want to enjoy the game like it's supposed to be played, don't do this glitch. Believe me. So, let's get on with the game, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. The power station. So first things first, that sounded like us. we're going to rack up points to get into the armory. You know, the armory is the most important thing right now. And the reason why we need to go into the armory is because there are certain requirements for this glitch. Now, I'm doing a naughty thing and just stabbing them straight away in the first round because I know that will kill them a lot faster, bringing more zombies to me. So, requirement number one is transportation, or oh, transportation, teleportation grenades. We can't do this glitch without them. So we're gonna go in this room. This is where you get the teleportation grenades from, just in case you're not familiar with this game. Uh, 
just warming up. We got him. I could show you the glitch as soon as we open up the hangar. I mean, we have the hangar, but gotta reload. Okay. So we've got a grenade. Sit down, bitch. L1, get up there. Later. We're in the hangar. Too many zombies. Do not run in there if there's too many zombies. You're just gonna die. This is how you do the glitch. Now, this is the area where the glitch takes place. We're gonna go on the other side of those fences. Now, you, I, as you can see, it doesn't matter what I do, I ain't going there. Do not throw your teleportation grenade there, there, through this gap, through that gap. It doesn't matter what you've seen on the internet, it's right here, guys. You look for this little yellow bit here, you gotta have it in between the yellow bit and the fence. Look right down, aim, throw, Bye -bye. and you are there. Voila, I am in the glitch right now, guys. Now, there are things you need to remember about being in this glitch. First things first, you're invincible. These zombies cannot touch you. Nothing can touch you. The only time you can get hurt is through the the, the, um, the green zombies. You know the ones that explode? And those red zombies with spikes in them. When you shoot them, they're like spikes ricochet back into you. Now, they will hurt you. The green explosion ones will hurt you. Uh, even the Goliath can't get to you guys, you know, you are invincible right here, and this zombie is staring me out like, uh, you're not supposed to do that, you're supposed to be on the other side, well fuck you zombie, I am here, this is my zone, right, number two guys, do not walk in this direction, if you walk in this direction, you will die, and that will be it, you have to start all over again, now number three, don't think you can get up there because you can't, you can however sprint up these stairs and get a nice little vantage point right here to have a look at all the zombies that are down there, I normally crouch and punch the zombie in the face if he's close enough, see he was close enough then you could do the same over there, you could be here or up on these stairs, now number four, very important guys just pay attention, you can go through these steps right here and this is what happens, if I slowly walk through, I will drop down in this cargo bit where all these boxes are. Bear in mind you are still in the glitch, you still cannot be touched, but it's very dangerous being here because you only got to walk over there a little bit and you will die. Now the problem with being in this area is I can't hit people with my knife. Uh, I can still shoot zombies, Alice but never I, on once here, you run out okay? of ammo, just gotta find it. if you haven't got any teleportation grenades and you haven't got any normal grenades, you are practically screwed in this area because there's no way you can go, you can't stab them, can't shoot them, can't get yourself out with a teleportation grenade, you can't jump your way out, you are stuck in this bubble right here. I can move over here, walk through here, but do not walk in this area, you will die. So make sure you've got some invisible wall here. I can't even go into this gap here. I can't jump through there. No way, Jose. So, what do you do in that situation? I do not know yet. I haven't actually been in the test. I know I'm guessing, that. you know, you've got to hope the time goes on by fast. And then, you know, it brings you to the next round and ultimately kills all the zombies. Shooting. But if there's more than one zombie, I think that doesn't happen. You have to kill them yourself. And in which case, you're fucked. So you might as well start the round over. So always make sure that you've got an extra teleportation grenade when going in here. Or maybe some ammo. Maybe a couple of grenades. Personal space um, invasion. I can get out of this, so. Uh, and the only way to get out of this is if you had the exosuit. That's why I think it's so important that you grab the exosuit before coming in here guys because then you can double jump throw a gap in there back into that glitch part of the area now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a grenade over to those zombies kill them down there That's right. that'll mark them up and I'm going to hope that the zombies come and gather down there I'm going to throw another grenade down there but guys like I said before this is a cheat um, one day the company's going to realize this glitch is very popular and they will create a patch to get rid of it like they have done with most of the other glitches. They're closing in! Alright. Boom. Let's do another... Grenade. Like that! Mark them. And uh, yeah, that's basically it guys. You can just what in this glitch you get your shit ton of credits. You can constantly stab them through the fence. Uh, getting more and more points. It's just a way to be a god, basically.
be, you know. And uh, if you want to get out, if you've got your teleportation grenade, just throw it out anywhere. And there you are. You are back in the game. Go get yourself some more teleportation grenades. And you can make your way back in, right? I'm going to get through these zombies. I'm going to jump through. I'm going to run around. Go get some more teleportation grenades. And I'll show you guys one more time before I end this video. Um, after this video, I'm going to do an online game of me using this will the glitch. Be okay? So remember, if you ain't got the exosuit, make sure you have a couple of teleportation grenades. Bang, get through here, get to the hangar, zombies are coming, fight them away, like, hit them. And you want to cover me? I got stab, me. don't hit me, bang, bang, that's it. Now, watch carefully, fence, yellow, in between, not there. Here and stand right next to the fence. Bro, you're in. Sorted. Guys, have fun with it, enjoy it, but by all means, you may get bored. So try not to overuse it, it completely changes the game. And uh, if you don't want to share it with your friends, don't, because this glitch can be very important for your gameplay and you will suffer the consequences if you're the one that's in here and your friends are out there having no idea how you did that and all the zombies will chase those other players so you can be a dickhead and not help them at all and just stay here and survive or you can help them in the process so guys i hope that helps you i hope that uh, you enjoy this new glitch i'm your boy milsey saurus your number one fella for lazy gaming take care and i'll see you guys